What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about some great watches for guys with a smaller wrist. Okay, if you clicked on this video, then you might have a smaller wrist like I do, uh, but if you're not sure about your wrist size, it's a good idea to measure. So to measure your wrist, you just need a soft tape like a tailor's tape. You can also just use a piece of string, wrap it around your wrist and then measure that string. Uh, but you wanna wrap it around the widest part of your wrist, right over the bone, and then that's your wrist measurement. So my wrist is about six and a third inches around. That's definitely on the slender side. Uh, I think anything under seven inches could be considered small, but if you're like six and a half inches or less, I would say that you should stick with smaller sized watches. Now when we talk about watch size, we're really talking about the case diameter. That's the most important measurement. So that's just how big is the case without the lugs or the crown. And a small watch could be considered anything that's under 40 millimeters in case diameter. Uh, I prefer like 38 millimeters or less. I'll definitely wear watches that are 36 or 34 millimeters. I think those are great sizes. Uh, but yeah, if you have smaller wrists, I think under 40 millimeters is the way to go. So I've asked a few of my fellow YouTubers and watch enthusiasts to share some of their favorite watches for smaller wrists under 40 millimeters. And then after we hear from them, I will share one of my favorite watches for guys with small wrists. These are great guys who really know their stuff. So if you haven't already checked out their channels, definitely go do that. All right, gentlemen, take it away. Hey gents, all feels right in the world when I have a small watch on my wrist. At 6'4 and 170, I'm tall and slim, but with six and a quarter inch wrists, I like something that's a little bit more subtle and elegant. I have videos on my channel where I talk about my favorite watch in my collection, which is my 34 millimeter Omega, which is a bumper model from the 50s. But if you can't go with something that's a little more vintage, I have two recommendations for modest wrists. Number one is from a company called Nordgreen. This is the Philosopher model. It's 36 millimeters, only 7.2 millimeters thick. So it has that really nice, slim, small profile. Comes in at the $200 price point and it is designed by Jacob Wagner, who comes from Bang & Olufsen, and he also has an exhibit in MoMA. It's a quartz movement, but it is hackable, and so not only do they have several different metals and sizes, but they're nice, slim, and sleek, and much better than most other fashion brands I've come across. Number two is from the internet's favorite watch brand, which is Orient. This is their Stella model at 36 millimeters. The list price is 350. It was 210 when I was doing this video. It's 12.5 millimeters thick, and it has an open heart displaying the F6 T22 movement, so it's automatic, it's hand winding, and hackable as well. There you have it, gents. Two excellent, affordable, and modest size watches for those wrists. Thank you, Brock, for letting me represent tall guys on The Modest Man. If you wanna know about the best menswear on the internet, regardless of height, come over to my channel at The Cavalier. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. What's up, fellas? My name is Baron, and I run a men's style website and YouTube channel called Effortless Gent. So my favorite watch in particular for my small wrist is my Rolex Datejust 16030. Now, I know it's not the most affordable watch, but I think if you can only have one really nice, versatile watch, this is the way to go. The 16030 is a vintage model. This is in the early to mid 80s. It has a black dial that measures 36 millimeters. I think that is the perfect size for smaller wrists. My wrist measures six and a half inches around, and I think it fits perfectly. Although if I did have a bigger wrist, I wouldn't say that this watch looks terrible on that either. I think it's a really handsome watch that will look good even if your wrist is seven pushing seven and a half inches around. I think what I love most about this watch is the versatility. Now I could wear it with jeans and a sweater on my days off, but I could also dress it up with a suit. The Jubilee bracelet is a really nice touch and just that steel, all steel watch with a black dial, it just looks really sharp. Of course, many brands like Seiko, Citizen, etc., make watches that are very similar, very simple steel bracelets with steel casing and a black dial. So you don't have to go the Rolex route, but I think if you are looking for something that is vintage that will last a long time. I think this is the way to go. And there are many resources online uh, that you can check out that you can actually buy a vintage Rolex for a relatively affordable price. All right, fellas, I hope you like my suggestion. Thank you to Brock for having me in this roundup. And if you want to see more videos from me, please check out my channel, Effortless Gent.
What's going on guys? Teddy Baltasar here and a big thank you to Brock for letting me come back on the channel. So I have a YouTube channel talk all about wristwatches and really the whole goal of it is to just create a new generation of watch lovers. So if you wanna learn more about watches, definitely go over there, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So when thinking about watches for smaller wrists, this is something I've talked about a good amount, I wanted to pick a watch that I personally own and that is the Nomos Ahoy Neomatic. So my wrist is 6.25 inches, so definitely on the smaller side of things. And when I wear this watch, I really don't get any overhang, but the one thing you have to be cognizant of when you're buying Nomos watches is the lugs are rather long. So that 36 millimeters certainly is a little bit deceiving because this watch is going to wear more like a 38 to 40 millimeter watch uh, with its lug to lug height, a thing that you really need to consider. It has it at 45 millimeters. And why I like this watch, I think it has a clean, minimalist aesthetic. On top of that, it has that in-house caliber, like I mentioned, and the 200 meters water resistance while not having a traditional diver bezel. It has all the specs of a diver, except does not have the bulky design that a lot of divers have. So that is my choice here today. Thanks again to Brock for having me on and hope to see you guys on my channel in the future. What's up everybody, I'm Alessandro and Brock, thank you so much for having me on your channel today. I'm the host of The Standard Wrist, a channel where we talk about watches for small wrists and general watch talk, lists, reviews, these kind of things. Today I'm rocking one of my favorite Seiko 5s ever and that is the Seiko SNXS 79K. This one has a 37mm case which suits my 6 inch wrist no problem and this has got to be the best looking dial for around $120. I mean look at that gorgeous sunburst dial. This looks awesome in casual outfit or in a business environment. The supply bracelet looks okay, doesn't feel all that great, but put this bad boy on a suede NATO strap and boom, it looks the absolute business. I've been rocking this one at a Grand Seiko event and people were actually asking me about it. This is just how good it looks. You just can't go wrong with this one and if you want to check my review, just go to my channel, The Standard Wrist. In the meantime, thank you so much again, Brock, for having me and guys, stay stylish and keep watching. What's up, YouTube? I am Christian from Theo and Harris. Thank you, Brock, for having me on the channel. You asked me to bring my favorite conservatively sized watch, a watch that fits super well on a smaller wristed gentleman. But since I own a thousand watches that fit those criteria perfectly, I brought you three. Omega's Seamaster. It may not look like it, but this is an original classic sports watch. Great examples can be had between a thousand and twenty-three hundred bucks, and they are some of my favorite watches. Next, a Cartier Tank Louis, something that I get a disproportionate amount of use from because I happen to love dressing up. But a watch like this definitely belongs in everyone's collection. And finally, Rolex's Datejust, the watch that I've built my entire career in watches around. It measures in 36 millimeters. It wears extremely modern, beefy, and substantial. I think it's probably the perfect middle ground between old and new worlds. So that's it. Those are my picks. Thank you so much for having me on. All right, thank you guys. Uh, so for me, one of my favorite watches for smaller wrists is the Hamilton Field Officer Khaki Mechanical. Kind of a mouthful. I think it's usually just called the Hamilton Khaki Mechanical. It's the manual wind version of this watch, so there's an automatic version, but this version is a little bit thinner, so I really like the size. It's got a 38 millimeter case diameter, which is a very universally flattering size. Even guys with bigger wrists, I think look really good wearing a 38 millimeter watch. It's a Swiss made watch, but it's from a brand that was American originally, and it has a lot of cool history behind it. So if you care about heritage, uh, Hamilton is a really cool brand. Since I dress casually most days, uh, I find myself wearing this watch at least a couple times a week, if not more. For the price, it really is one of the best everyday casual watches out there, especially if you like a mechanical watch as opposed to a quartz, and if you like that field watch kind of military aesthetic. This is about as big as I'll go. I definitely wear smaller watches like uh, 34 millimeter watches, and I would wear a smaller watch than that, like a Cartier tank or something. Now, if you love bigger watches, if you like that oversized look, then, you know, by all means, wear a bigger watch. But if you do have smaller wrists like I do, uh, and you want something that's gonna look proportionate on you, I would stick with something that's like 38 millimeters or smaller. I will link to this watch and all the other watches mentioned in this video down below in the description. Thanks again to everybody who helped me make this video. Go show these guys some support by subscribing to their channel. Thank you, as always, for watching, and until next time, stay stylish. Hey.